Hey everybody, I'm here in Hanover. I'm going to go and meet and talk to the man that is called the Marilyn Manson of the magic world. We're supposed to have done a show in Leipzig, but like three of the shows got cancelled and that was unfortunately one of them. I bought a ticket like six months ago and I've been super looking forward to it. So we're here at Hanover to see the last show of the tour. I'm super happy that I actually get to see him. And we're gonna go meet him and talk to him for a little bit first and I'm kind of nervous, you know? Oh, big fan. Oh, big, he's, he's, he's fucking, he's really fucking cool. You'll see what I mean. If you haven't heard of this guy, you need to. I hope I don't get lost. I, I've never been here before. <laughs> ah, help me. It's so cool to meet you, it really is. Um, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm glad you made it. I'm really fucking glad to be here. When, when you were a kid, mm -hmm. is this what you wanted to do when you grew up? Like, what did you want to do with this? Always want you. I don't know. I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do uh, when I grew up mm -hmm. or became of an age to have a job. Uh -huh. You know, uh, yeah. I didn't really have anything in mind or planned. This just sort of happened uh, naturally. It just yeah. became a thing. You know, I started doing like little shows and then word of mouth, you know, because this is like before YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and that stuff. But marketing promotion was different. Uh -huh. Different, you know, medium, yeah. you know, like uh, advertising was in yellow pages, uh -huh. and those were a thing still. Yeah. And uh, so, for a while now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, newspapers, you know, stuff like that, um, where you only had like, it was almost like a tweet, you only had like so many words that uh -huh. you could get in like the box or something uh -huh. to put in the advertising. But so, I, I don't know, I just did shows and then word of mouth and then reputation, and it, it, it just kind of snowballed. Kind of like, it was viral before viral. I guess you sort of stand out amongst the other magicians. I suppose. It just sort of happened. I don't really know how to do anything else. <laughs> yeah. They're extremely good at this from what I've seen. I'm so looking, I'm so looking forward to the show. Yes. Um, who, who would your favorite magician be? Or like, who, does anyone inspire you? Yeah, I mean, some of them are like historical that I read and studied about, and they're all dead. So if I named them, nobody would know who they right. are. <laughs> um, but like, uh, I mean, Copperfield was, you know, someone to respect uh, that I respect and see how he has, you know, been able to be uh, doing it so long and sustain his uh, uh, career, I guess. You know? Yeah? Yeah. How do you inspire yourself to create a new illusion with like? Where your ideas come from? Maybe like if somebody's like a comedian's writing a joke, or someone mm -hmm. who writes poetry who wants to write right. a poem, it it comes from all sorts of stuff. Maybe I could hear a song and be like, oh, that'd be cool to use that someday, but mm -hmm. I don't know what I would do with it, or you know, or, uh, or an idea, tweak and work it because I saw something in a movie. Mm -hmm. Whether I want to try to be like what was in the movie, like I'm working on something right now uh, with somebody from the audience, like from American Psycho, uh, okay. with the with the hatchet. Okay. Um, and, uh, and and Huey Lewis and the news because I just really like that scene and uh -huh. I think it's really great and uh, I wanted to either sort of recreate that or recreate that feeling uh, of it. I really like it, so that's like kind of an example. But it's not done yet, so I can't show you what it is. Well, I guess we'll see eventually. In the process, hopefully. Completely different. So, what kind of music do you listen to? Like. What do you listen to? I listen Theme to wise. yeah, I listen to everything really. Like I'll I'll listen to uh, I'll listen to 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 like eighty stuff like Whitney Houston or oh, yeah. Money or something, <laughs> you know, or uh, even up to uh, current, you know, or more current. Like it, it just depends on the mood, you know. Like last night I was listening to Peaches because I felt like it, <laughs> yeah. and uh, or like I'll listen to soundtracks, you know, like from Disney movies or. That new movie, The Great Showman, I think it has a really great soundtrack, the one with Hugh, the Hugh Jackman movie about the P.T. Barnum circus guy. Mm -hmm. um, they have a great, that's a great soundtrack. Yeah, it's a dual of soundtracks so, too, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Or, or some musicals, you know, that can make you feel different things rather than maybe just, you know, of course, of course bands and musicians can, can make you feel certain things with their lyrics. Something, for whatever one. Something kind of emotional, yeah, emotionally stirring. I can't I Step can't outside of different genres, you know, and, yeah. and, 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 and just try new things. Um, do you still do your shows on the street? Do you do like things in public? Uh, no, not really. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, because I try to, I like to, well, I, I, I'm by myself a lot, which is preferred. But you know, like if I go out someplace, I usually just sit by myself because I'm happy okay. like that. Yeah, so I don't really uh, go up and you know, like David Blaine or something. I just kind of just keep to myself, and then if people say something or want to, you know, maybe see something, I just kind of prefer to just honestly 
not not to like shoot them down, but to mm. maybe talk about something else, you know, to okay. just be like a normal person right. for once. Yeah, no, kind I of Is there any, a moment from any of your performances that particularly stands out? Anything One that was in New Zealand. Oh really? Yeah. Have you been to New Zealand? Yeah, I've been to New Zealand, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it was, uh, I got a girl on stage for a bit, and this is going to sound maybe kind of weird or maybe wrong, but I don't want it to come off wrong, but <laughs> it, 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 the majority of the show is the same every night, just like a comedian tells the same jokes every night, or a band plays the same set list pretty much every night. What makes it different is the people. Mm -hmm. and, and how it, and, and how they interact and, and, and I rely on a lot of that not just for the audience because I want them to feel that they got to see something special mm -hmm. that last night's crowd didn't for example and, and I like it because it keeps it refreshing for me mm -hmm. and we we're in New Zealand and uh, this girl I got on stage had obviously I don't know if she was drunk or if she had taken some pills oh, yeah. but she was way out there <laughs> and, uh, and it was really great and it was a it was a very early show we had to do like three shows in a day so i think this was at like an 11 a.m show so i was like super tired uh from the night before doing shows getting up and doing three shows again um so she made it very interesting and it, there's it's on it's on youtube i put the yeah. video on youtube because it's just crazy um, okay yeah so you, you, have a, you have a channel on youtube yeah, I don't really use it that much oh, anymore. Oh, just, you know, like sort of something I can link to below. Yeah, and sure, it's just, yeah, it's it's like my do. username is Safe Ferris, like Safe Ferris, but Ferris is what people used to call me a long time ago. Do you have any final words for any young weird people out there? Some words, for words of encouragement? Just weird dance people. like nobody's watching. Because <laughs> they're probably not, anyways. No, yeah. so, yeah. I like that. That's, that's good advice. Alright, well anyway, you have to go and do your show. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I, I do have to go do the show, but... Just, thank you so yeah. much for talking to me. Thank it's, you it's for really having me on your, your vlog. That's wonderful, I'm so excited. So I'm not allowed to film the actual show, so in lieu of that, I will link below to some videos where you can go... Whoops! <laughs> sorry, in lieu of that, I'll link below where you can go and watch some videos that are already on YouTube. If you get the opportunity to see his show, I'll put like a link to his website below as well so you can look for tour dates and stuff. I'm on a mission to get some food because I didn't eat today. I had like, well, sort of, I had a couple of boiled eggs in the morning. I'm gonna be awake all night tonight and I don't know when I'm gonna get to eat next. I feel like two boiled eggs in 24 hours is, or at least, is, is probably not enough. Yeah, I'll link that shit below and I'll tell you all about it once it's over. Just a short intermission at the moment. My face hurts from smiling. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing because smiling a lot is good, but it's maybe a bad thing because it means I don't smile often enough and those muscles are underworked. <laughs> I was so happy. This show was fucking awesome. If you get the chance to go on dance berry shows, I really think you should. It's nice to be kind of swept away by illusion. I guess people always want to know how everything's done. Like, I guess magicians get asked a lot, how do you do your tricks? I don't want to know. I like to just be amazed. I just like to sit there and like be impressed and be entertained and like, you know, I wouldn't want to spoil the illusion. Like, I used to be friends with a bunch of magicians when I was in Edinburgh. They used to get together and play poker and they invited me and I was like, I do not want to go and play poker with a group of people who do, who are professionals at card tricks. I watched them do the same shows on the street again and again and again and I was impressed and amazed every single time and I never once asked them how they did it. I think they just spoils it. I just don't want to know. This is a face that's sore from smiling and laughing. <laughs> I just made it onto the train. Knapp. Just. <laughs> okay, uh, irgendein nächsten kleinen Bahnhof ausruhen, wo ein Bahnsteig ist. Da muss man jemand dringend aussteigen. Somebody's being kicked off. Because they didn't buy a ticket. Ja, das wäre super. Very, very naughty. I legged it through yeah, the Oh my god, I'm trying to film a video here. <laughs> I kind of want to watch it <laughs> That show was just fucking incredible. It was incredible. It was so good. It was really, really cool. Please come back to Germany, Dance Ferry, and also go back to New Zealand because not a hell of a lot of stuff happens there and they, they really need some good entertainment. <laughs> and that was really fucking good entertainment. It was an awesome evening. It was so great. I'm not disappointed. It was worth hanging onto the ticket for six months <laughs> and it was worth the four hour train ride. Like I said, it's not possible to film the show, but if you look at some of the links below, you'll be able to see a few videos. Yeah. Oh, so wonderful. I really hope I get to see that again. It was just wonderful. I feel so weirdly motivated now. I feel like weirdly inspired. Like some of the stuff he said on stage just kind of... I don't know. It was like weirdly motivational. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm weird. 
Anyway, this is a night train. Look, it's night time outside and it gets to my destination at 4.30 a.m. And then I have several hours until my plane goes, so I'm gonna try like fuck to have a nap. Good night, children.